Right guys, thank you for checking out this video. So I wanna ask you guys, have you been looking for a video maybe online or you're curious to know how Ray-Bans, uh, specifically I guess the, the Clubmaster and the Wayfarer model do after the five year mark? Now, lucky for you guys, I've owned both of these well above the five year mark. In fact, this one here I'm wearing, I've worn, um, utilized for over six years. So if you are curious to know how Ray-Ban, specifically these two models right here, will do for you after the five year mark, how they do wear and tear wise, durability wise, then this is the right video. I'm gonna be going through all of that Keep watching, let's get started. Right guys, so thank you for checking out this video. So I'm gonna be going over uh, the Ray-Ban. So here I've got the, the Clubmaster. Uh, I'm not, yeah, the Clubmaster. And the one I'm wearing is the Wayfarer. So let me just uh, explain why I wanted to do this. So when I want to purchase any type of sunglasses, uh, it's not only a question of design and style. For me, it's also important durability wise how sunglasses will do for you. So essentially, when uh, I was looking online, I was just curious actually. I wanted to see how people's sunglasses, specifically the Ray-Bans in this case, uh, how uh, they it served them uh, for a certain period, whether it's two years, three years. And funny enough, I just couldn't find any videos. Um, maybe Maybe I missed it, who knows, but I just couldn't find anything. I was doing a YouTube search and I couldn't find anything. And I was just really, I just found that really interesting because um, there's so many brands out there, as you're aware. Ray-Ban is a fantastic brand uh, in itself, inherently. Um, but obviously, people are always curious to know, in terms of different price brackets, how an item does. So, you know, Ray-Bans are a little bit cheaper compared to, say, Tom Ford's, um, which are the brands at Tom Ford's, uh, Prada. There's, there's loads of comparative brands which are up there price range wise but Ray-Ban obviously has a great reputation behind it but in terms of the price I know the price isn't a little bit it's still a hefty amount um, like uh, this one here for me bear in mind that I have prescription lenses but let's take out the prescription the normal price for these were around 160 and these ones here were 180 these were uh, at the time this was well over five years ago please bear in mind and obviously, uh, my Tom Ford's are well above 200. Uh, and and uh, my other brand, what's it called, Oliver People, that's well above 300. So, you know, that's why I was quite curious to know how the, the Ray-Ban serve. So let's start with the Pacific ones I am wearing. So these are the new Wayfarers RB2132. So I'm gonna be honest, guys, these are exactly the same as they were um, when I first bought them, which is quite surprising, I know. Uh, the only thing is, it's got a tad bit loose on my face, so you know, I could easily put it back on and take it off because it's loosened up, but that's nothing you can take it to opticians and tighten it. Otherwise, in terms of uh, screen, uh, the lenses, they are perfectly fine. And the frame, uh, I can't see hardly any scratches on these so I will do some close-up shots for you guys so you can see them but yeah I'm not seeing any damage on this glasses at all hardly any scratches which is amazing because like I said I've owned these uh, above the six year mark and there's hardly any damage to the lens or the frame itself which is shocking because you know, I would expect some damage in terms of the wear, uh, how much I wear it. So I wear it all through summer when I'm going out uh, driving, but during even the winter months, I wear it when I'm driving. So for a solid three to four months summer, I'm wearing it non-stop uh, for the last uh, six years. And then on top of that, when I'm driving in winter, I wear it all the time. So, it, it, you know, it's going through a fair wear and I'm dropping it sometimes. I've dropped it a couple of times. And still, like, no damage on these sunglasses. It's amazing in terms of 
you know how well they're held up but i presume it's because of also the material it's more plasticky you know uh plastic can maybe absorb more of this kind of shock and damage but at the same time you would ex you know expect if you drop it too hard to crack or show marks but it isn't the case it isn't the case at all all so these wayfarers have done fantastic for the six year mark and i'm gonna highly highly recommend these so let me just quickly show you again it uh sorry specify the model uh, rb2132 net new wayfarer wait new wayfarer so i'm not sure if they've updated the model but this is essentially how it looks so that one's held up well and then we have uh the Ray-Ban Club Master and again this is uh, the five year mark as well now and uh, again comparatively there's hardly any damage here and again I've been wearing it I've been switching them sometimes I wear this one and sometimes I wear this one here so yeah it's 50 50 but still they've both been dropped guys they have been dropped onto a concrete floor and uh, they're still holding up really really well so if you have a look here hardly any scratches or damage so you can see it's held up really really well so this one here uh, is a Ray-Ban uh, RB303507 for those that are curious in terms of the model and yeah they've done fantastically fantastically well as well um and the reason why i'm comparing these and i wanted to explain the durability is i purchased a pair of oliver oliver people just just so you know guys i highly recommend this as well fantastic uh for the price you're paying even though it's not cheap they've done fantastic um like i said the reason why i'm going through this review is i spent around uh over 300 pound on these specific sunglasses here oliver peoples so it's 350 pounds to be precise and just after a little bit of time um with these oliver people i had actually uh just put a tad little bit of weight on it with my uh elbow and uh what hap what happened is it's no longer aligned now see these it's no it's not straight anymore so i'm sure you can see that it's got messed up and for paying 350 pounds i've dropped the ray bands on the floor it's gone through quite a lot of wear and tear both these sunglasses the arms have done fine but with this just a little bit of pressure it wasn't even a lot and uh it's got bent and the reason behind this is the arms are made incredibly delicate so it's 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 like it's quite fragile to be honest and for 350 pounds i wouldn't expect that i would even if it's like uh, fragile like uh, the arms but like the hinges should still be quite strong for what you're paying uh, but yeah it's got bent so you can see here if i hold it this way it's bent so it's bent one arm's got bent which is a shame so if i put it on my face if you notice it's tilting now to one side so what i'm trying to say is that you don't need to spend over 300 pound 300 pound plus to get a good pair of sunglasses i mean yes they these may look good I'm not saying they don't look good but durability wise for the price I've paid it's incredibly disappointing guys incredibly disappointing uh, these Ray-Bans both have held up fantastic these I only owned for less than two years less than two year guys and a little bit of pressure has caused this damage and throws to concrete floors I've thrown them everywhere around the house because you know i considered them cheap i was like what the hell i don't really care i'm gonna throw them about and when i look at these these have held up great these i'm too scared to throw these around anywhere because of the price i've paid i would inflict a tremendous amount of damage i don't think they will have even the arms left on them if i treat them the same way i've done 
with these two I honestly don't think they will be composed like the way they are uh, just purely because it's far too delicate it's far too delicate and to be yeah, you don't need to spend that much so guys this is a really quick review if you want to buy a pair of sunglasses Ray-Bans are fantastic uh, for durability for looks for style for wear they are I highly highly recommend them you don't need to spend 300 pound plus uh, specifically uh, I don't know about other brands but Oliver people specifically and this model here is the o o Miley NYC which is a popular model especially among celebrities you don't need to spend that much yeah you know they're nice but durability wise they're poor I can't I'm not gonna recommend these so yeah that's essentially that's what that's what I wanted to do it's not gonna it wasn't meant to be a lengthy review I just wanted to put it out there that if you want to know how good Ray-Bans are durability wise after the five year mark they have held up fantastically I highly recommend those and definitely a worthwhile consideration over other brands out there which are far more expensive um, that may offer good looks but you know may be questionable in terms of durability and I can't say this about all the other brands I'm just recommending the ones in question that I, I show in this video so guys thank you for checking out this video I greatly uh, appreciate those that have subscribed to my video and those that you know uh, have liked this video if you haven't please do like this video I would greatly greatly appreciate that please do subscribe hit the subscribe button below any questions feel free to ask below I'll see you guys in the next video take care Bye.